Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 2nd of 2020 and ever since the official release of the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, which marked the very end of the saga, a lot of fans have been very curious and skeptical about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that they are going in a different direction for the franchise. They want to really match up against the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which, like I've said, it's going to take a lot of time and effort to really get that done correctly. Now, without a doubt, one great thing that came out of the sequel trilogy is the character of Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo, who was portrayed by Adam Driver. I would say that that was the more favorite character of the sequel trilogy over Rey, Finn, and Poe, because not only is he connected to the Skywalkers, but he's also a very complex villain that honestly I think could have been done in a better light, but I think that they really did their best at trying to do that in The Force Awakens, and with The Last Jedi, it was kind of like an up and down scenario. But with The Rise of Skywalker, there were great performances done by Adam Driver, and I think that a lot of fans are just really looking back at what was the best part of the sequel trilogy. A lot of people would say Ben Solo. Now, that's what's really exciting about the future of Star Wars is that George Lucas, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni are really working hard to bring back Ben Solo in numerous ways, whether it be animated or even in live action form, in ways that fans are going to be very surprised over. Now, specifically, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are currently focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of movies, as well as the new Star Wars universe. It's explained that Bob Iger and Chapek are hard at work on developing a better future for Star Wars, including bringing back the character of Ben Solo in several ways to satisfy the fans. Now, it's explained that Disney currently has two plans to bring back Ben Solo. The first is the return of the character in animated form, and the second in live action form at a different age. It's described that Disney aims to bring back Ben Solo in live action form as a young boy at some point in time in The Mandalorian Season 3 that takes place in a post-return of the Jedi era that fans will be able to witness sometime in 2021 next year. Now, it's explained that Jon Favreau will be handling the introduction of Ben Solo as a boy in The Mandalorian Season 3, and that it is aimed to be a huge sequence that will explore Ben Solo's tie-in to The Mandalorian TV series. Not just that, but that also they are focused on multiple young actors already to portray a young Ben Solo in The Mandalorian Season 3 in order to continue the Skywalker saga in unique ways for the fans to enjoy. The animated series form is actually going to do with Ben Solo coming back to life and in the form of a force ghost as well in the Rise of Skywalker sequel series and more that will tell new tales of Rey Skywalker as well. Ben coming back to life is said to be a temporary but a grand entrance for the fandom to witness in the new sequel series. So here's the thing, is that this, I think, is the greatest way to bring back Ben Solo. It seems as though that John Favreau knows exactly what he's doing and what the fans want to see in terms of this post-return of the Jedi era with The Mandalorian. And again, this timeline that George Lucas created, this era, if you will, is something that John Favreau did to create endless possibilities. You know, before John Favreau, this timeline was never really touched in live action form. You know, we never got to see what it was like a little after, you know, the defeat of the Empire and the end of Vader and the Emperor, all those different things. So, bringing back Ben Solo, all right, as a young child in The Mandalorian in live action form, is something that a lot of fans, I think, are gonna have different views on. I think some fans are gonna like this, some fans are gonna not like this. It all depends on the casting and exactly what the performance is gonna look like in season three of The Mandalorian. After all, you know, he is bringing in Ahsoka Tano for season two. Looking forward to that to see exactly how Rosario Dawson is gonna portray the role. That'll be very intriguing to see on, you know, whether or not fans are gonna really enjoy that. Uh, I think it's really going to boost the familiarity of Ahsoka, so that's one thing to really, you know, be proud of here, is that Jon Favreau is going to make the character more familiar among all Star Wars fans, not just fans that watch animated shows. 
So in that light, we can see how John Favreau is really trying to take control of the new universe, right? This really does in fact create more stories for Ben Solo here, and it also creates more possibilities to explore his life even further after season three of The Mandalorian. I mean, they can really do this for however long as they want to do it, as long as it's really successful, and as long as the fans are enjoying of what's going on by Disney and Lucasfilm, of course. So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, it really seems like things are taking shape here in a, in a positive sense. And I think that, you know, when we look at Ben Solo as a character, this really seems to be the best way to go about doing things. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.